Hi. I had a dirty lens. <laughs> it's Michelle with Garden Jargon and it's the fall and it's chilly out and I got my hat on and I got a sweater on because it's chilly out. Uh, it's 48 degrees outside right now. It is November 11th. Happy Veterans Day. Thursday, November 11th. And it's about 4.30. We had a beautiful sunset tonight. The clouds were beautiful outside. Um, I took some pictures of that. But this is the time of the season where there's no more gardens. And there's no more outside stuff to do except for just pray and hope that the spring comes quickly so you can plant another garden. So in the meantime, I'm going to be making some random videos like this one today, which is me making cowboy candy for the second time. Um, I made a small batch of it earlier in the spring or in the summer, and it turned out really good. And I was surprised by how much the um, jalapenos cooked down. So this time I hoarded a ton of jalapenos and peppers out of my garden, and I'm going to process them into cowboy candy. So I have just watched some videos on YouTube, kind of played around with some measurements or whatnot, and I made kind of my own thing. And I'm a pretty seasoned cook, so if you are a very seasoned cook, this probably is not, or if you are not a very seasoned cook, you probably don't want to watch my videos because I just kind of willy-nilly a lot of stuff when I'm cooking. If you are a by-the-book recipe, there are way more recipes out there on YouTube that would probably better serve you, um, but I would love if you hung it out with me on my video and watched and seen if it was something that you could do. So what I have done is taken this pile of jalapenos is actually in a bucket like this this big old bucket i got from the dollar store it was full of peppers i washed them all and then i knocked off the tops and put them on this tray this little pile here is lunchbox peppers um these are little tiny sweet bell peppers and i thought you know what if we're gonna make these peppers hot and spicy in this delicious sugary syrup why not add some sweet peppers also? So I got a couple pimento peppers in there. I got sweet and hot banana peppers in there. I also have sugar rush peach peppers, a couple serranos, and jalapenos. And I don't know if my jalapenos are all hot or if some of them are not jalapenos because I grew both and we didn't label them properly. So we're going to have a surprise. So I have started with my food processor. Why is my lens icky? Hold on. See if I can clean that up a bit. That looks a little better. So these are my peppers. I'm just throwing them in the food processor with a slicing blade on there, making them this thick, thickly cut like that. See how they're in there going to town as I chop them. So that is what I'm going for the next like 20 minutes. And then I'll come back and show you how you cook it uh, with the syrup and then how you process it. So stick, stick around. Okay guys, second part of the cooking demonstration of cowboy candy. I have our syrup, which I will link the description below, in the description below, the recipe that I put. Um, I tripled my batch because I have eight pounds of jalapenos. So this is a sugary, vinegary um, concoction. And I'm going to put our jalapenos in there and then bring it back up to a boil for another five minutes. So what I'm going to do is now put in all of these jalapenos into this pot of sugar, and I'll be right back. All right, I got them in there. They're down in here in that syrup. Man, my eyes are burning. So the peppers that I'm using are jalapeno peppers, natapeno peppers, sweet banana peppers, hot banana peppers, a couple of serranos, sugar rush peach peppers, and probably about 25 lunchbox sweet peppers. Lunchbox sweet peppers are like the size of a small jalapeno pepper, and they're sweet like candy. 
So those are red in color. <laughs> and so are a lot of these jalapenos because I left them on the plant so long. And um, yeah, so there's going to be some surprises. People are going to bite into these red jalapenos and think that it was supposed to be hot and it will be sweet. Um, but this syrup actually consists of, have I have it written down here, um, for one batch, it's, where's it at? Okay, so for one batch is for three pounds of jalapenos that will fill about three of these. Um, it's six cups of sugar, two cups of apple cider vinegar, three teaspoons of garlic powder, one teaspoon of cayenne powder, half teaspoon of turmeric, and a half teaspoon of celery seed. And I tripled this batch because I have eight pounds of jalapenos. So this is a batch for three pounds of jalapenos. But because I have put in eight pounds of jalapenos, I just tripled the liquid and the spices and the sugar and put them in this bucket. Now, when I made this the last time, there was so much extra syrup and I just went ahead and canned it. And I've actually used it for when I grilled some chicken wings. I tossed them in that, um, the, like the sugary syrup for the cowboy candy and used that at the very end of cooking them. And then it kind of like burned up the little sugary bits on there and we had some amazing chicken wings. You can also use it for barbecues. Um, if you're going to be like smoking some pork for tacos, I mean, that would be awesome if you just, you know, put that in the crock pot also. So the syrup that's extra, it's always good for other things. So I do know there's going to be a heck of a lot of liquid left in this pot. And I'll show that to you when we get this um, back up to a boil. So now that I have the whole pot, I got all these peppers in here smooshed around in here so that they've all been covered. Now I'm going to let the pot settle and let that come back up to a rolling boil. And I'm going to let that boil for another five minutes. I'll come back to you guys after that five minutes is up. Okay, we're at a rolling boil. So when it's at a rolling boil, you just want to be able to stir it. And after you stir it, if it's still boiling, that's a rolling boil. So this has to continue to do this for five minutes. And then after we have this going for five, oh, there's a big old pepper right there. After we have this going for five minutes, then we, I think we turn it off. I'm going to have to check on my YouTube videos and look to see what it says. But I just wanted you to see what a rolling boil looks like. Now I will keep this here for five minutes. And then I will let you know what the next step is. Because I don't know. I'm learning. This is the second time I've made it. See you soon. We also have the water bath canner going. I don't know how many jars I'm going to have. My guesstimate is probably... Eight or nine jars of jalapenos is what I'm guessing. But I got my water bath canner going because we're going to water bath can them for 10 minutes. Let the lid come off and let that come to air temp as much as possible for 15 minutes. And pull them out and let them sit for 24 hours before we take the rings off. And after we take the rings off, then we store them. And you cannot touch the cowboy candy for at least a month. Don't touch it. You're going to ruin it because it's the best flavor if you let it sit and stew in the juices for at least a month. So that's your next tip. <laughs> but we got the water bath canner going and my peppers are still not up to a rolling boil yet. We gotta wait for that to happen. See you soon. Okay, friends, so I figured it out. We bring it up to a rolling boil for five minutes with the peppers in the boiling syrup for five minutes and then you turn down the heat and let it simmer for four minutes. And after that, then you take the peppers out of the jar, out of the pot and put them in the jars. So I've already got these already stuffed up. I got 
So far, one, two, three pint jars and th four half pint jars. The reason I do the half pints is because I give it to people and sometimes they don't like it and I'm not wasting it on my friends. No, I'm not doing that. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and show you what this looks like. And I'm just sticking it in the jar like that with my little, um, what's that called? Funnel. So I'm scooping this out. I'm draining it as much as I possibly can because we're going to pour syrup back over the top. And I've already gotten a majority of it out of here. This works way easier with two hands so I can get a really big scoop. Throw it in the funnel. I made a complete mess of my kitchen today. But that's usually what happens when I cook. It's a complete disaster. And I'm that person that can sleep just fine with a messy kitchen. Because what I do is I come in here and I listen to my devotional in the morning and do the dishes all at the same time. So I hope to be able to fill this up. I will. I just got to put the camera down. So give me a minute. All right. So I got my jars filled. I filled one, two, three, four pint jars and four half pint jars with eight cups. No, eight pounds of peppers. So it's good to know. I'm going to make sure I write that down. It was eight pounds of peppers that filled four half pints and four full pints. Um, very excited about that. Now, all I have to do is bring this syrup back up to a boil. And then I'm going to boil it to reduce it just a little bit. And you can see how much liquid is still in here. I probably have a gallon of syrup in here. in my throat. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this up to a boil. Um, keep it boiling, a good hard boil for about six to eight minutes and then turn that off and then I can pour that into um, the jars and I can also process that and use that for marinades and barbecues and chicken wings later down the road. So what I'm going to do now is take my sterilized lids wipe my rims with some vinegar because it's really sugary and sticky all over the, the rim of these jars. Put my sterilized lids on there, put the bands on there, and I got my water bath canner going, so I'm going to go ahead and throw them in there and process them for 10 minutes. I forgot to tell you, <clears throat> after I filled those jars with the jalapenos right there, you had to put liquid in there. Duh! So that's why I'm reducing for the next six minutes six to eight minutes I'm going to just boil this down a little bit and I'm going to ladle that into here leaving a quarter inch headspace at the top. Wipe the rims of my jars, put the sterilized lids and rings on to finger tight and then water bath can them for 10 minutes. Last and final. All right so I got them in the water bath canner. I had them with at least an inch over the top <clears throat> of water in the water bath canner. And I had them at a steady boil for 10 minutes. I lifted the lid. I kept the lid off for a good 15 minutes before I removed the jars out of the water bath canner. We had one casualty. It was a half pint of peppers that broke. The jar must have been old. But this is what I processed today. So one, two, three, four pints. One, two, three half pints of peppers. And then I have four jars of um, syrup that I um, preserved as well. I still have to preserve these jars right here. So I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven quarts. Nope, seven pints in my water bath canner and five half pints in my water bath canner. And I lost one of these in there. Um, it broke while we were processing them. So that's it guys. November 11th, I just made some cowboy candy. 
that I will devour throughout the winter um, because I love sitting on the couch with cheese and crackers during football games. That's going to hit the spot. Um, I'm going to go ahead and process the other three quarts. Nope, pints. I'm going to get that done one day. Um, and then I'm also going to link the description in the recipe in the description for you guys. I don't do a lot of these cooking videos, but when I do, it's a big jumbled mess because I don't like to edit videos. So I have to do a lot of stopping and I appreciate you even hanging out and seeing this video. So I hope you liked it. It is tasty. So go ahead and try it and don't forget to leave it on your shelf for at least a month before you open up a jar and eat it. So I will sign off now, guys. It was great to see you. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. God bless.